So today we're going to make some organizers for your craft items. Um, it, for me, always January is a time to get organized and kind of streamline and purge what you don't need when it comes to craft items. And so this is my first time doing some Valentine crafting. And I got some of these products from different stores and I wanted to have a way to organize them. But I don't want to buy anything. So what I'm going to do... What I did was I just used my paper stash and went from there. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. Let's get started. So you're going to need two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. So two sheets of 12 by 12 and you're going to score. You're going to score both of them two inches on all four sides. But the top lid you're going to score at two inches and three inches on all four sides. This is how we're going to make the acetate window just so there's already a mark on where we're going to cut. Um, so it doesn't have to match. I've determined that this is going to be my bottom portion and this is going to be my top lid. And I suggest that you use sturdy paper for this project. So we're going to start scoring. So just score all four sides. This is my bottom, so I'm only going to score it two. This is going to be such an easy, easy project to get your um, goodies organized, especially the Christmas craft goodies that we are able to accumulate. So this one is the top, so I'm going to score it two and three, and I'm going to do the same thing on all four sides. Super easy project. So easy. Right there, and you can use whatever paper you have. Um, if you want it to match, then definitely you can. Not a problem at all. Next is I am going to I'm going to cut here. This is number three. I know that I know that I'm going to cut here, and that's that is my three inch mark. So I'm gonna get um let me get my cutter real quick. All right, so let's start creating the acetate window. Super easy. You're going to cut on your three inch score mark, and that's going to be your window. Also, after you cut the window, next part is you're going to use acetate. Um, I just use the cheap acetate that I get from Amazon. Um, you can use a laminated sheet also if you don't have acetate lying around. Super easy project. And you only need very little resources to be able to accomplish it. Um, so this is done. The next part is you're going to put your acetate sheet. So you're going to put it on the inside, okay? So let me cut. I'm just approximating. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just like that. I'm holding it in place. Kind of approximating it where it's going to go. Just like that. And I'm going to set this aside for now and I'm going to do some folding. Let's get, we're going to burnish. At this point, before you start assembling, if you want to put some stitching, you can if you want to. Um, like what I did with this prototype. What I did is I just made it with plain pink paper, my prototype paper. And then I stitched on some printed paper and then I covered it just to make it a little bit sturdy make it decorative and everything so right there um this case you don't have to do that if you feel like your paper is thick enough it's up to you and it depends on what you're going to put in it for me I'm going to put um some foam stickers here which is not super heavy but obviously if you have intentions of putting heavy heavy things 
you might want to consider um, kind of making it sturdier by adding layers, decorative layers to your box. We're doing the same thing. We're just cutting slit marks so that it folds easier. And then after this, we're going to put the acetate. And then after that, we're going to put the base together first. So I suggest if you want to reinforce it, you reinforce it first before you assemble. Because it's going to be so much easier for you to do that instead of, you know, reinforcing it when it's already um, when it's already built. It's, it's a little bit harder. It's going to be a challenge. It can be done. But if you want an easier option, then that's the option I would suggest. So let me put this together and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to assemble this. Just going to do the... Again, if you want to reinforce it, I suggest you reinforce it before you assemble. Um, I'm not going to reinforce this one. I'm just going to take the box. Okay, because I'm putting lighter materials in it, and I can always reinforce it later if I change my mind. It is easier to do that when it's not assembled, obviously, but it is still possible. You're going to see that it's a little bit flimsy, so I think I'm going to reinforce this one um, in the near future. So now we have that. Um, first thing you need to do is kind of let it fit first before you start attaching and always 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 assemble your base first do not assemble your lid first because you want to make sure that it fits like this so then once you have this in position this ensures that you have a tight fit in everything and you won't get frustrated because it doesn't fit with each other so that's the that's my advice for you so right now, I'm just putting glue and right there, and then we're going to go to the other side, same exact thing, so super easy, and then you can decorate it, for example, you if you are storing them by season, you can use like decorative paper based on the season like if you're doing halloween you can put halloween and everything that kind of stuff um next part is you're going to attach this um let me move you a little bit further away okay so the next part is you're going to add this um, like plastic material so that it has it stores your label and this size is this is an acetate leftover and this is seven and three fourths by three and a half and then the paper that's going to go inside is one and a half by seven and one fourth and this is what it looks like right here right there okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to get some tape, like my thin red line tape. And I'm going to put it on the left, the bottom, and the right side. So that, so that it attaches and it's sturdy. Um, another way to do this, which is a little bit more complicated, is sewing it before you assemble. Um, but this this method is definitely easier. Just just doing the tape is so much easier. This is um, one eighth of an inch thin. I just need to make sure that it fits perfect. It fits perfectly. Okay, good. So that's what I suggest. And then you can create this um, and store all of your seasonal. For example, also you can store your swap. Um, your swap goodies, you know, if you do swaps with your crafty pals, this would be so cute also. Okay. There. Okay. I'll be back. So I've attached it 
and I've stuck it in there and then we're going to put the label and you can always change the label and now we can put our felt stickers in here um, the ones that you get from the Dollar Tree Let me see. because I needed a way to store them so right there um, I think this is a cost-effective way of being able to store your items and not buying anything. I think I think it's a good idea to right there. So these are like seasonal items. They're amazing things to put in your stash. They're very cost-effective. It's just that they come in different packaging, and you don't. I normally don't keep the packaging, so. I thought this is a good way for me to store my things and I wanted to share with you just in case this is something you're interested in. If you like keeping your goodies in the original packaging, then that's good. You can just put the packaging in here. Um, I'm okay with them not being in the originals. Um, anyway, so that is it. I think I have some more of these and I'm just going to add them together. I think it's going to be so cute, like they're not... They're all together and you can just craft away, do get your Valentine's stuff all together in one area. Anyway, I hope that that um, helps you kind of organize and kind of gives you ideas on how to organize your craft goodies. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and leave in the comment section below what you're going to put in your 8x8 organizer. This is 8x8 using your stash. So this is this video is part of the Use Your Craft Stash series that I'm holding in my channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful crafty day. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. You can definitely um, make this all pretty just like this if you want to. Or you can keep it as simple as you want. But look how cute they are. And then if they're in a cabinet, you can easily see what it contains. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye!